Well, we are on fire watch tonight. Check out this video you see here just into our newsroom as a fire exploded near the Layton Hills Mall. KSL News Radio's Dave Noriega capturing this video as his car rolled by on I-15. Fire crews jumped on it quickly before the flames could get too far, but uh, just a sign of how hot and dry things are right now. And now this urgent message from fire crews, do not park your car on dry grass. You've likely heard that a few times before. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at why. News specialist Jed Bull joining us live. Uh, Jed, you know, our cars and other equipment uh, responsible for starting hundreds of fires every year in Utah. Yeah, they sure are. You know, this weekend, many Utahns are going to drive to their favorite locations and pull off the side of the road. If you do, make sure that you use your fire sense, otherwise you risk starting a wildfire. Yeah, I think it would surprise a lot of people, the amount of fires that we see and the different ways that, that motor vehicles would start a fire. Jason Curry, a state fire investigator, says our cars generate plenty of heat to start fires. It's pretty much guaranteed. If you sit there and idle your car long enough over dry grass, uh, you're going to have a fire. It takes 451 degrees and our vehicles generate that heat. So if your engine overheats, don't pull over on dry grass. Because it turns into a vehicle fire, that would be bad but it would be uh, much worse if it turns into a vehicle fire and a wildfire. He tells me people will drive on a flat tire until it's shedding hot rubber with the rim on the road. And the rim will spark and throw just a shower of sparks onto the side of the road as well. Keep tires inflated and vehicles tuned. This year, we've already seen several fires started in exactly those ways. If you're pulling a trailer, don't let the chains drag. Because there's just a shower of sparks coming off those chains. I've seen them dragging, drooping. I've seen them disconnected. Twist the chains to shorten them. These are going to be more than hot enough to start fire. These materials all sparked fires that Curry investigated. Carbon that flew out of the exhaust from a truck. Ceramic from a catalytic converter. He pulled this piece of melted metal from a trailer axle dragging behind a vehicle. So that person went about four miles and started 20 fires because they weren't paying attention to their trailer. A spark coming off of any metal Trailer chains, rims, whatever, can easily spark a wildfire. Our investigator tells me that if we keep our cars well-maintained and steer clear of dry grass and, and brush, that we will avoid starting most of those kinds of fires. For Live at 5, I'm Jed Bowles.